посадки. So I told you that yesterday to do this. This is what it's doing. Should be quicker this way. things that you can control entirely. So he listens. And now, instead of you know, doing country flooring everywhere, they are going to rip on all the walls and then do country flooring afterward. It makes sense. Give him a good advice. There's two of them. And there's something I'm about to tell you in a few minutes. I want you to see, to see this, I want to see them, I want, I want you to see them work for a minute and then I'll tell you uh, something that's also important, something uh, valuable uh, for those who will be uh, coming to Africa, you know, to do things like, uh, like this. Another thing that I've learned, you know, uh, I've known it, uh, I've known it, but it's been uh, confirmed, you know, it's been confirmed uh, lately, uh, and that is this, when you come, when you are in Africa and you have a, a, a project, a project like the one the one I'm running, uh, I'm building a chicken house. This is it right here. I'm building it. And uh, I told you guys, these guys came in. They worked from Monday all the way to Saturday. And they was able to do all of this. All of this. They were able to dug, dug out trees, you know, cut down trees. The whole nine yards. They work on the foundation, and it was done with it, you know, because now they are raising the walls. But uh, one thing that I'll let you guys know is that don't never uh, give all the money to one guy to pay everybody else. Don't never do that, and that's you know I'm 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 having to pay the. Uh, pay the price, you know, 
uh, yesterday I told you guys that uh, uh, the guys got paid and um, now that they got a little bit of money they're not coming to work until the money is it's all gone until the money is done it's finished but you know I did some investigation uh, yesterday I went on to talk to some of the people uh, who worked here because uh, I wanted to talk, I talked to like uh, five of them yesterday because I wanted to know why they didn't show and I want to get this thing uh, done I want it done as soon as possible you know, I don't want to be I don't want this thing to last a month I want this thing to be three weeks and done and um, what I found out is that you know I gave all the money to their boss to the guy who uh, brought them all over you know, I gave them the one thousand dollars you know, and I told them to give everybody, you know, 50, everybody was supposed to get $50 because there's 20 of them. Everybody was supposed to get $50. Now the guy I gave the $1,000, you know, he, uh, he spent most of the money and gave him, he didn't even give him half of the $50 that I told him to give everybody. That was everybody was supposed to do, uh, everybody was supposed to get. Because everybody earned, you know, fifty dollars for the whole week, and this guy didn't even give him half of it. Half of it, he spent the money. He spent almost like he took more than half of the one thousand dollars that I gave him. That's why I didn't see this guy. That's why this guy, this guy didn't come back to work. That's why they didn't show because. The guy took that money and, you know, spent almost all of it. And the guy who didn't show uh, up uh, for work, they were mad because they didn't uh, get their due. And, uh, you know, I'm with them. They're right. If you if you have work, they you got to get paid. You got to get paid for your work. But one guy took all the money and ran with it. Now, I got to suffer. And the guy who worked here had to suffer. So if you are in Africa, make sure to pay everybody by yourself. Don't listen to, I'm the boss, you know, I'm the one who brought him over here. Uh, you got to give me the money and I know how to handle it. Don't never listen to that. Your project is going to stall. People are going to run away. You know, let them get, let them be mad. Let the manager, let whoever call themselves manager, let them be mad. Don't never give them money to take care of everybody else, to pay uh, everybody else who came out uh, to work. Uh, make sure to do that yourself. You know, that's a lesson that I, I learned. That's one. Uh, Big valuable lesson that I've learned. You know, the reason why things are, are have slowed uh, down is because of one man. One man. He got the one thousand dollars, and instead of you know instead of paying instead of paying everybody they do, you know, rob all the guys. And now, here I am. Here I'm stuck. Here I'm stuck. And, and I don't like this about you know people in Africa. They are so short-sighted. No, here I was excited. Today is Wednesday. Look at where we are. Look at where we at on Wednesday. This concrete flooring was supposed to be done on Monday. By Monday, last Monday, the concrete floor was supposed to be done. And uh, this is what they're doing right here was supposed to be almost done also because today is Wednesday. That's what I had programmed. And that's why I gave them the, the money that I gave them, the amount of money that I gave them. Because I wanted this to get to be done. I'm not going to give them $1,000 every week for five, six weeks. I was going to give them $1,000 every week 
for three weeks, cause that was the that was my uh, you know, that was my goal. My goal was to give him three thousand dollars to build this whole thing. I'm not gonna give him. I wasn't gonna give him, you know, four thousand dollars to work for like, you know, four four weeks or five weeks. If I had them work five weeks, that would have been five thousand dollars. I don't have five thousand dollars to pay uh, for labor. I don't have five. I don't. I don't have that. Do not have five thousand dollars to pay for labor. The plan was. They will work three weeks, get this done, get this over with. They will get three thousand dollars for labor, and everybody is gonna go home happy. I was gonna be happy. They were gonna be happy. But instead, one man came and messed it up for everybody else, especially for me. Especially for me, because now you know to get those guys uh, to come back, I would have to, you know dig it deep into my pocket and give him all the money that the guy took from them and I'm not going to do that I'm not going to do that the guy is here if the guy is here and I told him yo get this thing done I'm not playing with you and I did him I made a mistake helping him yesterday I shouldn't have helped him because you know I don't like people like that how you gonna get money, you know, to give people? And you're like, yo, I'm not gonna find out. Like, you think I'm not gonna go out asking around? Look, uh, we are curious. Like, when something happens, we want to know. We want to know the ins and outs. We want to know the bottom of whatever happened. That's just how we were brought up. For him to think I wasn't gonna be asking around, I wasn't going to be going going around asking the guys like what happened why I didn't see you come to work he didn't think I was gonna go and ask these guys why I didn't see them come to work but I did and come to find out he stole their money he stole all their money so I told him yo you better get this you know you gotta be get the, better get this fixed better get this fixed and he will I'm not even playing with him. He will get it fixed. And next time, when people work, I'm paying them myself. I'm paying. I'm, I'm never giving money to anybody. I'm never giving money to the people, the locals. Never, ever giving them money to pay our people. Because these people have bad management, um, management, uh, financial, money management skills. They got bad money management skill. They are so short sighted. He got one thousand dollars in his hand. He saw that like a lot of money. It was like, yo, I'ma get this money, you know, I'm probably give everybody else. Maybe I, he probably he gave him like fifteen dollars a piece. He gave them fifteen dollars a piece. So he took thirty five dollars out of everybody's hand. And I told him, God they are going to get their money. He's going to work, he's going to get I don't care uh, for how long, but he's going to do all the work that these guys were supposed to do for the whole week. Not the whole week, maybe for more than a week. And that 1000 that was supposed to go out for this week, I'm going to call all those guys and I'm going to give them uh, their due. Going to give them their money. He, want, he don't want that, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to have the police handle it. And he knows I already told him. I already told him, what's up? And I can't believe these people. You can never trust them with money. That's the thing. You can never trust these people with money. It's like they see money, they go crazy. The minute they see money, they go crazy. They could talk to you. They could, they could tell you how, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm like, money is not a thing for me. Like, I don't really care about money. But the minute money lands in their, into their hands, you know, they change characters. They become something else. So this is what happened. He took all their money, spent it. And now my work has to slow down because of one person. Because of one person, my, my work has to slow down. Anyway, like, share, subscribe.
and make sure to hit on the notification and sh share this on your social media just hit the share button it's, it's, it's at the bottom of the video you know hit the share button and share it on your social media share it on Facebook Twitter Instagram you know do that for me you know and I'm gonna keep uh, giving you these uh, videos you know? I'm gonna keep uh, sharing my journey you guys so this is what happened don't never give uh, uh, like don't ever give money to somebody to pay everybody else in Africa you know people in Africa you know they are thirsty they want money they did something about money with them they don't go good they don't go with money they, they are not they are not good at you know managing money so if you got people working on your land or on your project pay everybody individually don't give money to one person and have him handle everybody else pay them yourself because if you give money to one person that one person is going to run away with everybody else's money and the good thing is I went to investigate I went asking the question if I didn't do it I wouldn't find out what happened what really happened anyway like share subscribe and share on your social media talk to you on the next one peace